Wow, witness SpaceX's upgraded OLM, a bold step toward the future of the Starship program. First seen at Starbase and now rising in Florida, this new installation marks a major stride in expanding SpaceX's launch network. More than hardware, it embodies SpaceX's drive for speed, reliability, and rapid reuse, key elements that will redefine modern spaceflight. So how will this upgrade propel the Starship program forward? Let's find out on today's episode of Great Space. SpaceX. It can be said with confidence that alongside Starbase in Texas, Florida is quickly rising as the second great center of Starship operations. A rocket as monumental as Starship could never be absent from Florida, the historic heart of America's space industry, and the place where so many legendary missions have taken flight. In terms of progress, Florida's facility often trails behind Starbase, yet that does not diminish its importance. While Starbase remains the birthplace and primary testing ground of Starship, the Florida site represents its expansion into a more mature operational phase. It's worth noting that the LC-39A and SLC-37 areas in Florida have been proposed for as many as 40, 44 and 76 missions per year, respectively, compared to only about 25 at Starbase. This makes it clear why accelerating development at Florida's launch pads has become a priority. Among these, Launch Complex 39A stands as the true pioneer. This historic pad, which once launched Apollo and Falcon Heavy missions, is now being transformed into a cornerstone of the Starship era. It already features a towering launch structure equipped with the iconic chopsticks arms used to lift and eventually catch the rocket. Its OLM had been constructed earlier, but in early 2024, the original legs were demolished so that the pad could adopt the improved design used at Starbase's Pad 2. Recently, the upgraded OLM was rolled out from Roberts Road to the launch site, marking a significant milestone. The new structure closely mirrors the design of the OLM at Starbase, featuring a robust box-shaped frame with large manifolds encircling it. Installation began immediately after its arrival. The OLM was positioned onto the raised platform that had been carefully prepared, and welding work commenced to secure it in place. This milestone is crucial because the OLM serves as the foundation of all Starship operations at the pad. Earlier in the year, SpaceX had all already completed the digging of the flame trench to provide a solid base for the launch structure. By October, the massive flame buckets that will channel the fiery exhaust from the engines had begun to be placed within the trench. The speed of construction at LC-39A has been impressive, only slightly behind that of Starbase's Pad 2. If this pace continues, the pad could very well be ready for operation by mid-2026 or perhaps even earlier. Still, there remains a great deal of work ahead. SpaceX must now focus focus on completing several crucial systems around the pad. Next to the flame trench, the company will construct the gantry system for the quick disconnect booster arm, which will supply fuel and power to the rocket before liftoff. Additionally, pipelines are being installed to connect the water and fuel storage areas to the flame bucket and OLM. Once these systems are integrated, protective covers and shield structures will be added to ensure safety and stability across the pad. At the top of the launch tower, the chopsticks system will undergo further adjustments. These include modifications to their length and the installation of new lifting and catching mechanisms designed specifically for the upgraded V3 Starship. After construction is complete, the pad will enter a rigorous testing phase. This will begin with venting and water deluge tests, verifying the pad's ability to handle heat and pressure during launches. Then comes the most anticipated milestone, the static fire test. This will mark the first time the new pad supports a booster prototype generating more than 9 thousand tons of thrust. Once that test succeeds, the pad will officially be ready for full Starship operations. Based on current progress, SpaceX could finish major construction by March of next year, with testing expected to begin around April or May. This timeline aligns perfectly with SpaceX's plan to transition to the new Starship V3. Over the next several months, SpaceX will test V3 upgrades, demonstrate orbital operations, perform stage catch attempts, and deploy payloads. Once those objectives are complete, the company will begin building out its orbital refilling infrastructure. This is where LC-39A will play a crucial role. Beyond supporting NASA's Artemis-related missions, including Starship HLS, the Florida site will likely serve as a key hub for Starship's refilling operations. While these missions will not begin immediately once the pad becomes operational, several test flights will pave the way for that next phase. 
If construction continues smoothly, we could see at least two major Starship launches from LC-39A next year, with refilling tests to follow soon after. In summary, SpaceX is making a major push with LC-39A. Thanks to the existing infrastructure and lessons learned from Starbase, progress has been remarkably swift. Many once believed that this pad would not be ready until 2027, yet the rapid installation of the upgraded OLM and other components now suggests otherwise. If everything goes as planned, Florida could witness its first Starship liftoff much sooner than expected, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the program's expansion. So, are you ready to see Starship rise from Florida's coast next year? Comment, let's go Starship Florida, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on SpaceX's incredible journey to the moon and beyond. Excitement is building, but it's important to remember that SpaceX still has a tremendous amount of work ahead before the Florida Starship system becomes fully operational. In the previous section, we discussed the construction progress and schedule of the new launch pad, but a functioning launch site requires much more than just the pad. To operate efficiently, SpaceX must also complete the production, testing, and fuel supply systems that will support continuous Starship launches from Florida. These essential systems are not expected to be fully ready until late 2026 or perhaps even 2027. During this early stage, SpaceX will likely rely on Starbase in Texas to produce and transport rockets by sea to Florida. This method of maritime transport has already been tested successfully, and it'll serve as a temporary bridge between the two sites while Florida's infrastructure catches up. In the meantime, SpaceX will be working intensely to build out every remaining element of the Starship system in Florida. One of the most important upcoming facilities is the new Gigabay. This massive structure has already been clearly outlined in SpaceX's plans and will be constructed near the Roberts Road complex. Based on the proposed dimensions, the Gigabay will be capable of supporting stacking, testing, and refurbishment of multiple Starship and Super Heavy booster prototypes at once. Its scale and efficiency will make it a vital component in ensuring that Florida can eventually operate as independently as Starbase. However, the true heart of Starship operations in Florida will be the upcoming manufacturing facility, often referred to as Star Factory Florida. Although it has been mentioned in planning documents and public discussions, detailed updates on its approval or construction timeline remain limited. It's likely that this facility will take shape once the ongoing expansion of the Roberts Road area is complete. Once operational, Star Factory Florida will greatly accelerate Starship production thanks to its use of advanced manufacturing techniques such as high-precision welding and large-scale 3D printing. The facility will likely be organized with streamlined production lines to allow for simultaneous work on multiple vehicles in various stages of completion. This step will not only ensure a steady flow of prototypes for both LC-39A and later SLC-37, but it'll also significantly reduce SpaceX's reliance on transporting hardware from Starbase. The testing infrastructure will also play a crucial role in Florida's long-term operations, though little has been revealed about it so far. SpaceX will almost certainly need additional test stands near Roberts Road or possibly near one of the launch pads themselves. These testing areas would likely adopt a design similar to the Flame Trench system system already in use at Starbase's Massey test site, allowing for static fire tests and structural checks before vehicles head to the main launch pad. Finally, the Florida site will need its own dedicated fuel production and storage plant to support frequent Starship launches. Fortunately, compared to the remote and environmentally sensitive surroundings of Starbase, building a fuel plant in Florida will likely be less complicated. The proximity to existing industrial zones and transportation networks could make fuel distribution more efficient and reliable for long-term operations. Taken together, these systems represent the next great phase of SpaceX's expansion. Florida is not just an alternative site. It's the foundation for a dual launch capability that will eventually allow SpaceX to conduct Starship together. From the Gigabay and Star Factory Florida to the test stands and fuel plant, the state will become a true powerhouse for the company's lunar and deep space ambitions. With SpaceX's rapid progress in Florida, it's becoming increasingly clear that the company's long long-term ambitions and operational scale are set to outpace every other competitor in the aerospace industry. What we are witnessing now is not just an expansion of infrastructure, but the foundation of a new launch era. 
one built to sustain hundreds and eventually thousands of missions across Earth and beyond. At present, SpaceX stands alone in its class. When we count all the platforms under development or in operation, the company now possesses three dedicated launch pads for Starship, a figure unmatched by any other organization in the world. These pads form the backbone of a global system designed to make Starship not only the most capable rocket in history, but also the most frequently flown. To put that into perspective, this mirrors the structure SpaceX already achieved with its Falcon rocket family. The company currently operates three launch pads for Falcon vehicles, which are LC-39A and SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral in Florida, along with the SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. With this trio of sites, SpaceX has achieved record-breaking launch frequencies year after year. In fact, these pads have allowed the company to conduct multiple missions within a single day, sometimes mere hours apart. SpaceX's unmatched launch cadence is powered by its advanced recovery systems, which involve land-based, including land-based landing zones and autonomous drone ships stationed in the Atlantic and Pacific. These assets have made Falcon 9 the world's first rocket to fly, land, and relaunch repeatedly, driving down costs and achieving a tempo no competitor has matched. Now, SpaceX is scaling this model with Starship. With Starship, three dedicated launch pads are already operational, with two more proposed for SLC-37 in Florida and potential expansions at Starbase, Texas. Once complete, up to five Starship pads could support simultaneous launches, rapid reusability, and continuous operations. Central to this vision is Mechazilla, the groundbreaking launch tower designed to catch and relaunch boosters and ships directly from the pad. This system eliminates lengthy refurbishments, enabling turnaround times for faster, far faster than Falcon 9's. Combined with occasional drone ship recoveries, it sets the stage for near-daily Starship flights. Unlike Falcon 9's partial reusability, the Starship is fully reusable, designed to make routine missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond both practical and affordable. As competitors like Blue Origin, ULA, Rocket Lab, and Stoke Space race to catch up, SpaceX is already operating at industrial scale. From Starbase to LC-39A, every expansion signals the dawn of a new era, one defined by speed, innovation, and a bold vision for humanity's future in space. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.